Hello everyone, this is I. Today I would like to show you this design and how to make it. This is my gem a bracelet design. I posted this on Instagram three weeks ago and this was the first one I posted and then after that I posted one with blink in it. And today I would like to show you how to make this one and then this one. And last night I posted this one as well. They are the same, but it does look quite different with different sides, beads and um, different bands. So this one here, I have um, the Rainbow Loom Web Store bands. They are the Persian pink and the model of pearl bands and these are just um, the general opaque rainbow loom bands same as this one as well so we'll get started you need three colors so three colors and some beads i'm gonna show you how to make a few with no blink first and then i'll blink a couple to show you so let's start with our cap band. You can do two loops or three, whichever one you like. And then you pull through two bands. Okay. And I suggest you follow um, the color pattern at the start when you're making this one. So it's easier for you to tell which band to lift. Okay, now we're going to use our first color. I'm going to pull through three bands and make sure your bands are not twisted. What's on the inside, stay on the inside. Pull through three bands and then we'll lift the first two that are closest to your hook and close. Now, second color. And pull through three bands again. Okay, three bands. We'll hold on to those at the back. And you're going to lift the one that's closest to you. And then close. Now, I'm going to pick up the same color again as the first band. And this time, I'm going to pull through two bands only. Okay, and then close. So, this is what it looks like at the moment. Now, I am going to take one band. And you put through all your bands. And now you need to lift your first color, both of your first color, okay, which is my olive bands, and then close. When I say first color, I don't include the base color, which is the black, so whatever first color you use, you lift those two. So you have one in the middle, which is your second color, which you didn't lift. There we go. Now, if you're using a normal loom hook, you turn. Okay. And you're going to use your base color again, two base color. You pull it through your four bands. And we start all over again. Okay, now your first color, you pull through three bands. Okay, and then you lift your first and your second that's closest to your hook, and you close. Second color, you pull it through three bands. 
okay three bands and you lift one band that's closest to your hook and you close and now we're going to get our first color again and pulling it through two bands and close okay now our base color we pull it through all our bands and we're gonna lift our first color only the two first color bands and close okay so this is what it looks like now I'm gonna do it one more time but switch it over pull through two base color band okay grab our first color pull it through three bands and then we're picking up our first band and second band oh dear there we go and we close second color I'm going to pull it through three bands okay three bands and we're going to pick up the first base color that's closest to your hook and close and we're going to grab another band which is our first color and pull it through two bands only and close now we're going to get our base color band pull it through all your bands and lift your first color there's two that are closest to you you lift them make sure you don't lift your second color band and you close okay so this is what it should look like now and you switch it over okay now I'll show you how to blink it you have two bands okay and grab your first color pull through three bands and then lift your first and second bands out closest to your hook and close and then you grab another band your second color pull it through three bands okay pick up your first band that's closest to your hook and you close you grab your first color again you pull it through two bands okay and close and arrange your band nicely so they're not all twisted and funny now we need one bead in with a base color band or whatever color you like and this is how you put the bead in you lift the first band off and then you hook through okay your bands now this bit here is a bit tricky okay basically you need to string this band through like that whichever way is easier for you and, okay so just make sure you don't lose don't pull too hard and you know and lose your bands now when we finish this bit here we still have to remember to lift our two first color bands now Make sure you're only lifting your two first color bands, nothing else. 
and hold on to this pin here and close. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And you pull a band through it. Okay, hang on a minute. Okay, I think I'm doing it right. <laughs> okay, switch over. Actually, I'm doing it wrong. You need to pull two bands over. I get confused, sorry. You pull two bands over. There we go. Because there were there's a bead in there, so I keep on forgetting there's a band with the bead. Now, pull two bands over, make sure they're not twisted. Okay, we'll do our first colour again. Pull it through our two bands and close. Second colour, we'll pull through three bands and lift the first one and close. Now, same first colour band, pull through two bands and close. Okay, now we're going to grab our beads again. We have to Take off this band and pull this band through like that. And be really careful that you don't pull this bit too hard and lose your band. Now, what are you really doing just stringing this through? Okay, there we go, and we're going to lift our first colour band and close. Now, this might need a bit of fiddling around to get your band, all your band sitting nicely, okay? So, here we go, and you just need to Pull two bands over like that and start all over again. Okay, I hope um, you like this design and we'll see you on Instagram soon. See ya, thank you for watching.